All right, what's up everybody? Another day, another video tour. So today we are here in El Paso, Texas, and we're gonna look at this beautiful farm modern style home by the one and only Icon Custom Home Builders out here in El Paso, Texas. So this property right here is 3,927 square feet, four bedrooms, loft, multi-gen, four and a half bath, three car garage. So a home like this will get you in at $880,000. So let's take a look at this in detail. So this lot right here, I believe it's about a quarter of an acre. And I definitely do love this stamp concrete driveway. And I love the uh, two-tone here with the, uh, the gray and also the white. And if you take a look at this custom vinyl windows right here, you're going to notice on the exterior of this home, it is black, but on the interior, it's actually white really gives that custom custom feel true custom home take a look at the roof line here as you can see it is not your standard right concrete like out in Las Vegas man take a look at this entryway right here isn't this beautiful with the glass look this is actually a custom glass right you can't just order this glass that cost is a lot of money and I do love the feature wall here in the front and I love the uh, what do you call it right here these uh let me know guys let me know in the comments below i forget exactly what it's called those uh pillars with the uh potter plants there you go take a look at that look how huge this lot is let me show you guys this this is unbelievable so you got the west wing you got the east wing this is just crazy all right let's go inside let's see exactly what we got wait till we go inside this is unbelievable but before we even start this video i want to give a quick shout out to Filippo Loretti right this is a new watch company give a quick shout out to them and uh, if you guys are interested in this watch all you have to do is click on the link in the description below and also there is a promo code that's right a promo code Chuck it's 15 hit that promo code Chuck it's 15 to get your luxury watch take a look at this Beautiful, right? Luxury watch, luxury home. That's right. Filippo. All right, let's take a look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Unbelievable. What's crazy about this builder is uh, family owned business, husband and wife, right? They work together and create something like this. This is unbelievable, unbelievable folks. I don't even know where to start. Love the, uh, the dining area. Love that feature wall, love the color combo. Looks like you got straight edge on the six, six inches on the baseboard as well. Love the other uh, texture on the walls, nice and smooth. That's right. Look at that. This kitchen is unbelievable. I love this wood peninsula right here. You got the uh, quartz, and I love how they did the 45 and they fold this all the way down right here. This is really nice. Icon is actually one of my favorite builders. Um, they are a true custom home builder. Let's take a look at some of these uh, cabinets here. It is a little bit dark. I love the uh, the two tone here on the uh, the cabinets here. You got the uh, dark espresso it looks like, and you have this light wood color. I'm not too sure what color this is, but and I believe this is a 36 inch cook countertop, Samsung, and they have a pot filler here, which is really nice. Love this uh, backsplash. This is very unique. I've never seen this right here, where you have this one inch corset. It's actually underneath here. Look at that. Great concept. And you also have the LED lights there. I believe they're the uh, Traverse. You got the Samsung microwave and the double stack oven here. I love that matte black. Gorgeous. Take a look at this uh, the ceiling panels on it. And I noticed the air conditioning grills. You have the custom air conditioning grills here. 
Look at that. Really streamlines everything. You also have the surround sounds as well. I mean, this home has just way too much. Way too much. And take a look at this pantry. I'm gonna walk back here real quick. Look at this. Look at this pantry. Isn't this to die for? And you got a second refrigerator. And take a look at all this extra pantry space back here. You have what? Total of one, two, three, four, five shelves. All right. All this for $880,000? Take a look at this, guys. Espresso machine. I love this uh, granite here. It's actually marble, it looks like. Yes, it is marble. Oh, I love these cabinets. Take a look. What's unique about these cabinets? It's, it's almost like it's flush. Never seen a design like this. Look at that. Can you see that, guys? Look at that. Woo, boy. And it looks like the texture on here is the Santa Fe texture. Okay. I'm gonna take it down this way. Let's go down this way. Love the uh, artwork here. So here's one of the bedrooms. Let's see what they did with the bedrooms. It looks like we have 10 foot ceilings on here. On this one, they have a ceiling fan. Now, one thing Vegas should do, right? is actually for the doors or well, they should actually add doors for the garage not the garage well, was i going to say garage come on guys come on guys it's too early in the morning for me right now the closet that's right closet you guys get the sense of humor but take a look at this this is what i was talking about on the um exterior if you take a look at the vinyl windows here right it was actually black on the outside white on the inside really gives that custom finish. Also, I noticed that uh, these windows also have the alarms on all the windows, which is really nice too as well. Now, is that a transfer grill? Oh yeah, looks like they threw a transfer grill here. Sick. Now let's go down this way. What do we have here? We have our third bedroom, but well, this is actually a suite. Wow, I do love this suite. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a link in the description below with all the measurements, right? And also, if you guys wanna build a custom home out here in El Paso, Texas, go ahead and reach on out to them. Now, I'm not too sure if their company will sell you floor plans. So that's something that uh, you guys can definitely call and find out if you guys want. Again, I'll have a link for the contact information to the sales office, okay? So this kind of reaches down probably about a good two inches here. And I love how this transitions all the way down to the drain line. Now this is something that you would have to do with the concrete here, which is something that you gotta think about ahead of time. You got a 36 inch cabinet here and you have a nice sink here. Nice vessel sink. Look at this. I'm not too sure what brand that is. My eyes are getting bad. Oh, the other thing is that I noticed their medicine cabinets out here is just not your generic like, you know, window. Not window, but the mirror. You know what I'm talking about? Out in Vegas. So you got a three inch casings around the door. These doors are eight foot doors. All right, what do we got here? Coming into the third bedroom. That's right, the third bedroom. This one's just pretty standard like every other room. Nothing uh, special, okay? What do we have here? Some closet space or linen closet. Okay. Coming into the bathroom. Oh, I love this. Nice. Tub shower combo. 
Definitely need a shower rod on this one. What is this? This is what is this tile? Okay, this is this is tile. I was like, oh, almost looks like real wood. Wow, excellent. Oh, what is this? Look at their thermostat here. Nice, nice. Through Wi-Fi. Okay. This is just gorgeous. I got I love this right here. Look at that piece. Unbelievable. Let's come out this way. What do we got here? We got the bar. Wow. You got the Thor wine chiller. Beautiful backsplash. Unbelievable. Did we go this way? Yeah, I'm getting lost. All right, we're gonna go this way here. Oh, this must be the garage. I believe it's a three car garage, I don't remember. And they did a built in valet right here, which is really nice. Cool. And I love how they uh, painted this gray all the way to the top. Really gives you that contrast. Coming into the laundry room, what do we have here? Remember, folks, everything that you see in this house right now, $880,000. Look at this. You guys got little pets. All right. Beautiful. Front load wash and dryer. Got some shelves. And a place to fold your clothes. Let's come back this way here. So here's the next gen. Or multi gen. Next gen would be a different different company. Wow, take a look at this. Great concept. Beautiful wood tile. Look at this transition. I love this glass though. Look at that. That's all I can say is look at that. Look at this. I mean, there's just so much things to really look at. I mean, you can just like literally look at the attention to detail and you can just like pinpoint everything out, but I'm not going to do that because there's just so much. And if you guys want more information, again, contact icon. Now take a look at this cabinet. Now, you, you guys can't probably see this cabinet the way the cabinet's designed. It's full like a flush mount here. Then you got like three different um, levels of the transition here. And it's just very smooth. I, I wish there was some light that I could show you. Love the sink. Again, medicine cabinet. Oh, I love the fact that you have a, a door back here that takes you out to the back. and. Take a look at this. This is what's creative. I love these. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So you have the blinds that are actually built in between the two glass here. It's cool, huh? Let's go back this way. Love the air conditioning grills too. That's just beautiful. And I believe on the flooring here, we have porcelain tile. I think it's porcelain tile, 48 by 48 inches, I believe. And look at the entertainment center. Now with the entertainment center here, I'm not too sure if there's any like cabinets that open up. So these are just all panels here. You do have the LED and it looks like they put the marble here as well. Love that stone there. And uh, we have an office. Decent size office. Now this could also be transitioned into a bedroom too, it looks like. If you wanted to. 
Love that glass door. Now I can't wait to show you guys a master bedroom. Love the uh, concept and the design of this. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. This type of sink. I'm not too sure of the name of this sink, but. Again, you got that floating vanity. I love how you have this stone right here. Transitions over to the quartz. What they did was shave this off, bring it down. That's really nice. And the plumbing they added to the wall, which is great. Love that light fixture there. So here's your AV room, it looks like. Okay. Let's come into the master. So this uh, master is very unique. Um, I'm going to say this master is probably 20 by... 20 by 18, I'm thinking, or maybe even bigger. You got the uh, the tray ceilings with the beautiful panels. You got the surround sounds, and I love how they integrated these um, Reese's lighting here, which is really nice. And they actually painted inside. Love that. You got the barn doors. Let's see here if they ran Cat Six. So it looks like they just got cable here. Not too sure if they got Cat 6, I can't tell. Now this bathroom is to die for. I love this mirror right here with the black frame here. Look at that. But most importantly, let's take a look at this spa-like. Look at this transition right down here. Love this, isn't this very unique? So they got the tub here, fiberglass tub. And these are a three by 16, I think, on the tile. But then it transitions to 12 inches right into your drain. Then you got your bench. Oops, let me pan up here. And you got your rainfall shower head. And I do love the windows, beautiful windows. It's gorgeous. Back it up on here. Great design. Let's take a look at the closet. Not too sure what uh, third party company they are using with the closet. Great concept though. Well, what do we have here? Tell me this lifts up. Oh, extra storage. Oh, I love that. And this is nice and put like your tie, watches, jewelry. You got the LED lights to showcase, you know, your purse. I believe that's your attic access right there. Closet has a extra closet storage space. Okay. You got your water closet. One and two. That's right. Let's come back this way here. I'm going to show you the backyard. Now, I love this corner right here with this engineering beam right here. This this costs a lot of money, right? Especially when you have this high ceiling too, with this A-frame ceiling. I mean, woo, that's nice. And these are not vinyl, folks. That's right, not vinyl. Look at this. Nice and smooth, nice and heavy. Security system, looks like we have some closet storage back there. 
So it looks like we got the air conditioning. Look at this. Beautiful beams, surround sounds. Look at this. What are you doing here, Rudy? Just finished barbecuing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me show you what's creative about this barbecue grill, okay? What they did was they tried something new to float this barbecue grill, which is a great concept. You would actually have to run steel into the uh, post tension slab here, stamp concrete, right? And not too sure what type of uh, texture or material this is, because this is not granite. But love that. Great concept. You got the wood eaves. Oh, I love how they uh, curve those eaves down like that. It's almost like on a like a 45. That's interesting. Decent sized lot. This almost seems like a pretty big drain swell here. I believe that's what it is. Well, folks, uh, let me know what your thoughts are about this property. If you guys ever make it out to El Paso, Texas, the company that you need to check out is Icon. Number one custom home builders out here in El Paso, Texas. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck. It's have a blessed day.